How's it going today guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to replace your shell latch or round retainer clip on your Benelli M4. Hopefully you're not having a bad day like me having to do this. If you guys wanna see more content like this, please like, subscribe, and share. It really help out the channel. Um, the first thing you wanna do, you just want to unload your weapon. So uh, if you have a round in there or in the chamber, however, just go ahead and pull that back, let your round fly out. I have one on the lifter, so just hit that, let that go forward. Have your second fly out. And then to uh, get them out of your tube, you're just going to push your lifter down. That is the old round retainer clip right there. So just push your lifter down and push in on that clip. And then you can unload your shells. So then we can see I am clear. I'm going to pull it back, check on the lifter. There's nothing on the lifter, nothing in the chamber. So I'm good there. I'm going to take my, uh, my shell carrier off, a little shotgun card. Now that I know that's clear, I'm going to go ahead and unscrew my barrel nut. And unscrew that. Can go ahead and pull off my hand guard. and my barrel comes with it. Because of this Briley being on there, it's a little bit harder to get off. Now I'm just going to depress this bolt, the bolt face, get that to, as you can see, it kind of twists in. So I'm just gonna push that in and out. If your hammer gets stuck forward, just use your bolt to push your bolt backwards. Hit your bolt release, let that go forward. And then your bolt can come out. There's my bolt. Next thing I'm going to do, I just have this little flat punch here. I'm going to go ahead and push out uh, my the pin for my trigger assembly. My pin will be all the way sticking over towards the side. I'm just going to pull it to the rear. Pull it to the rear right there. Then pull it, come straight out. There's my trigger assembly. Now a few things you're going to want for this, uh, obviously some type of punch so you can get the uh, trigger pin out, or the pin out for your trigger assembly. You're going to want some hammer, uh, some type of hammer like this. This is a real avid uh, hammer, it has a rubber end, a bunch of different ends on it. I'm going to be making a video on this. And then uh, a roll pin punch, this is from... Uh, real avid this is 330 seconds this is what you're going to need to take out your uh, the roll pin for your shell latch so you're going to need those three things now if you can see that's my shell latch right here there's my shell latch and right there is the roll pin for this it's a little star key just gonna stick that in there. Go ahead and twist that out. I'm gonna go ahead and take my punch, stick it right in there, take the hammer. Just tap it out through the ejection port. my roll pin we have your shell latch and your spring shell catch our spring is going to go right in the end right here and we're going to put it in the same cavity it went in so it's going to drop in just like that you just want to make sure uh, you're keeping tension right here make sure your springs not bi binding up or getting uh, misangled make sure it stays like that I'm going to go ahead and drop it in down in there and then insert my roll pin. Now when you're 
you're tapping that in, you kind of have to adjust pressure on it to make sure that your shell catch is straight up and down and the hole's still aligned. Sometimes it'll stop driving on you and stop going down. You just have to adjust it a little bit, make sure that it's still aligned. Now I'm gonna try it, drive this in all the way. Go ahead and take my roll pin punch. That right there. See how it stopped. Just push it in. Make sure you're holding that while you're driving it. Now, if you can see where the roll pin is, it's just below this notch right here. You don't want to drive it down too deep because if you do, it'll protrude right there where your, um, your bolt slides back and forth and you actually won't be able to get your bolt to go in past that. So you want to make sure it's not driven down too deep. But if you take a flashlight, you can actually shine it through there and see how far your bolt is, if it's up too high or if it's down too low, you can tap that in a little more. So if you see right there, it's just below that mark. You can, I'm gonna give it just a little bit more of a tap to make sure, but um, as you can see the function, it is keeping tension. You see my spring, it's not all mangled up, but it is actuating like it's supposed to be. and take my trigger assembly. I'm going to drop it in, slide, make sure this is pulled out all the way. Slide it in the back and then I have, I have to actually push this in that uh, shell catch I just installed. Push that in so it can clear, see how it just cleared, and then push it to the back, make sure the pins align. Uh, sometimes you have to seat it back farther, see how there's that gap, you have to push it back a little farther, make sure that pins align, and then just push that pin down. Let's see if I can show you off camera. There we go. So my pin's in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my bolt catch back on. If you have the original version, you won't have to do this. It'll just be the little nub. Go ahead and screw that back on there. Just going to make sure that's lined up straight. bolt carrier, drop that in, and this is where I said if it's in too deep it'll actually stop right there, if your roll pin's in too deep it'll stop right there, we'll be able to go through, just depress it a little bit, so I'll stick it in, then I'll depress it a little bit and give it some pressure, there you heard it click in, you go ahead and slide that over top, Pull my bolt back. When you have that on, you just wanna make sure that your barrel is close to flush at the receiver as possible. Then you wanna make sure your handguard is also flush up against that metal U-channel. Go ahead and take my barrel nut, screw that on there. That is the disassembly and installation of your shell catch or round retainer clip. Now, the reason I'm doing this in the first place is because I've been having loading and feeding issues. Um, 
this is the new one they sent me out so pretty much it sits in there just like this and when the round goes in this will um, hold the round right at the face right there and um, this will actuate back and forth to let rounds through into your chain or into in front of the bolt where the bolt um, lies and then it'll push it into the chamber now what was happening is every time I load a round which it is still happening the round hits this the face of this and then goes into the chamber now that all that does is cause um, feeding problems and less uh, swift feeding which is very annoying now they were supposed to send me out a new one which this is the one they sent me and Benelli sent me the wrong one with this new T Pro model I'm supposed to get the one with the threaded center so I am able to use that so I've uh, been having a lot of problems with Benelli and this is just another one of their problems so I actually had to bend this um, a little bit to get it into the right tolerance to where I can load it um, a little bit easier but not have um, a ton as many problems which like I said it's still about the same but when I'm loading um, hopefully it's a little bit more swift um, there I didn't find any videos on this so I hope this helps you guys out um, uh, I will be making a comparison video with this Benelli and the Breda 1301. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and share. It would really help me out and support the channel. If you guys want to see any other videos, feel free to comment down below about anything, and I will try to make a video for you if I have something in that category. Thank you for watching.